Hi there, and welcome to Conversations with Catherine. My name is Catherine Tatsuda, and I am standing here with Ketchikan Gateway Borough Mayor David Landis. How are you today? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Good, thanks for joining me. Hey, it's my pleasure. I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about being mayor. Um, okay. We're gonna talk a little bit about fishing, I All believe, right. because we're standing in, um, actually inside of the Deer Mountain Hatchery. Correct. And behind us, there are fish pens holding lots of little baby salmon, yep. getting ready to uh, grow up so they can be released into the sea. So, yeah, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of how we ended up inside the hatchery? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks, Catherine. My, my name is David Landis. I've been uh, mayor for about five years. Okay. And uh, on the assembly, Ketchikan Gateway, Gateway Borough Assembly before that. So I've been in public service for a while, but that's, my, that's what I call my hobby. Ah. I've got a real job. Oh, yeah. and, uh, like all of us yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I work for Southern Southeast Regional Aquaculture Association. That okay. is our uh, local area salmon hatchery group. So we have seven hatcheries from Petersburg all the way to Ketchikan, out to Prince of Wales Island. Uh, we have seven hatcheries and several other facilities, uh, release sites and um, uh, production facilities. And uh, what we do is, as you mentioned, we grow salmon and release them into the, into the ocean. And then they, they go out, they range freely throughout the Pacific Ocean and then grow larger and then return to this area. And then uh, commercial harvesters, uh, sport fishermen, subsistence, personal use uh, fishermen, they all uh, catch these fish on their way back to the hatcheries and um, or release sites. Yeah. So is Sarah, is it, it's a nonprofit organization? We are a 501c3 nonprofit okay. and um, yeah. we are for the benefit of all the fishers in Southeast Alaska, Southern Southeast Alaska. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a great job. I really love it. That's so I'm cool. so happy to be uh, associated with an industry that is positive. It's right. something that's giving back to the community and um, uh, the people who work here do so because they love it and uh, it really shows. Uh, it's just a great group of people to be associated with. That's, I'm really happy to oh, do it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited uh, because that means we get to be here. We do. In this really special location. And we get to see fish. Yeah, we get Maybe to see Maybe we'll fish. Feed, feed some fish. Ah, I love to feed <laughs> fish. I hope we can do that. Yeah, so I think we're going to feed some fish. We're yeah. going to talk a little bit. Yeah. Um, you're actually going to teach me how to tie some salmon leaders and bait a hook. That's right. Yes, because because um, even though Bill Tatsuda, this you know famous local fisherman person, the guru, <laughs> the guru yes. <laughs> he just says I can drive the boat and doesn't let me bait any hooks. I don't know why. So that'll anyways, change after it's, today. It's totally gonna change. Yeah. I'm so excited. Well, I'm excited to talk with you today. Yeah, it'll yeah, be fun. It's gonna be great. Yay! Thank Let's go you. do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Get your uh, the end of your line and your first hook. Okay. You're right-handed. I am right-handed. Okay. In your right hand, hold this hook. Okay. And then if you insert through the eye of the hook, the line, okay. and just give it about an inch. Okay. And then pinch that line against the shank of the hook. Got it. And then hold it and give yourself a little bit of the, of the shank up towards the eye. Okay. And then just wind wow. that around one, two, three, four, five, six five. times six times okay and then hold the whole thing together with your finger okay oh. just kind of kind of pinch it got it pinch it kind of hard okay. so it doesn't come unraveled okay i think i got it and then take this end yep you, so you're, much line it helps to use your mouth you <laughs> so make sure this doesn't I've fall watched, on the floor <laughs> In I've watched my dad a lot okay. with doing this. Yeah. Um, well, not tying leaders necessarily, but uh, with, with fishing in general. Yeah. Yeah, so. Which one of these do you think will catch the bigger fish? Yeah, mine, of course. Mine. <laughs> okay. Either one. Either one. We're going to catch giant we're, fish. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. Go like now. the fish that are behind us on the wall. Yeah. Right? The, aren't these yeah, cool? Yeah, these are they're, super cool. They're fanciful. The art students did that from Tonga School. Okay, Tonga School of, of Arts, Arts and, and Sciences, Sciences right? And okay. Several years ago, the art class came through here. At this hatchery, we actually have an outreach function, so we have school groups come through and okay. learn about salmon life cycle. And, and this uh, group actually 
painted the so wall. How do we make them bigger? How do we make them bigger? Let me guess. We do we feed, feed them? Feed them. Yes. <laughs> what do we feed what them? What do we feed them? Yeah. Fish food. This is. Uh, uh, <laughs> A little bit of fish food. This is a commercially available product. Okay. This is made out of fish. Oh. In large part. Oh. So we'll uh, see if these guys are hungry. Just take a little, a little handful of, okay. of it and then just sprinkle it out there. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> hungry. It's kind of neat watching them eat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So they let's just... talk a little bit about your role as borough mayor. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been uh, active in local politics for uh, a dozen years or more. Wow. Uh, uh, six, well, actually quite a bit more than that. When, okay. I, when I actually think about it, I was on the, <laughs> the Planning Commission and the Ethics Board and then okay. as a Borough Assembly person for two terms. Okay. And uh, uh, I was actually the first Assembly member who was term limited. So I was... Uh, wow. Yeah. That was uh, a number of years ago now, almost 15 years ago. Wow. That I was term limited the first time. So I took a few years off and then okay. came back and... and uh, stood for election as the borough mayor. Okay. And I'm in my second term now, so I've been borough mayor for five years. Okay. And I'll be term limited and done with that in October. And done with that next mm -hmm. October. Yeah. My goodness. So after you are term limited as mayor, do you have an interest in, um, you know, going back to as, you know, a borough assembly That's member? That's my plan. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is to, uh, uh, to Try for re-election as okay. an assembly person. Yeah. Um, and part of that is um, I was um, a, a elected actually by my peers at the Alaska Municipal League to represent Alaska on the National Association of Counties, and and a subdivision of that called the Western Interstate Region. So I serve okay. on those boards of directors. Wow. And and uh, my term doesn't expire with my term with as mayor. As mayor. So if I want to do a full term on <laughs> NACO and WIR, I have to be reelected oh, as something. As something. And, uh, I understand. And I really do enjoy the opportunity to do those director um, positions. So okay. I think I would like to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been in public service for for a, for a long time. Well, sev 17 years elected now. Okay. And then um, about five years as a, a volunteer for uh, the Planning Commission and the Ethics Board. Okay. Yeah. How does, or how has your work as, you know, as an assembly member or, you know, and as mayor, how has that impacted your life? I think it, it connects you to the community in ways that mm -hmm. um, are, are important. Uh, and it allows you to contribute. Um, your knowledge and understanding of, of the issues, uh, interaction with local people, and, and taking that forward to the elective body. Mm -hmm. um, it allows you to uh, get some experience actually in, in how management works. Mm -hmm. um, although the, the mayor or the assembly aren't uh, staff management positions, uh, right. we work with the manager and the clerk and the attorney and, and uh, help direct them in their daily okay. tasks. Uh, so it's uh, valuable from, from that standpoint. Okay. And um, it's just really a rewarding thing to know that um, you're doing something that not everyone will, will stand up and do. Absolutely. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, criticism sometimes. Yeah. Uh, not very many attaboys. Right. But sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And that's, uh, but that, and that's rewarding. Right. It is. And, and you, when you feel like you're contributing a positive uh, things to the community, that's... Uh, that's that's really special. Absolutely. Yeah.